Hey, it's Sean from Tested. We are here in Boston with Form Labs. David Lakatos, the Chief Product Officer, is going to walk us through the Form Cell. David, what is this? First of all, <laughs> thanks for, for joining us. I'm really, really excited for you guys to be here and uh, for, uh, for the conference tomorrow, the Digital Factory. And this is our first uh, solution for, to make end parts for, for our customers. <laughs> so as you can see, uh, the heart of the machine is made out of Form 2s. Form 2s are uh, the machines that we've been selling for the last year and a half, and this product line has been evolving over the last five years. Uh, the Form 2 is the most well-sold professional 3D printer uh, to date, and that's why we thought that it's basically, this, this, is the, this is the engine that we need to really use uh, to, to get our customers really going with, with end parts. So, so this is made for mass production? This is made for, for short run production, for mass customization, for people to actually produce a large, large amount of, of parts every day, continuously. So what you see here is uh, a five cell, com uh, five machine configuration. It's five Form 2s. And uh, as if you have seen in the last three, three weeks ago, we have released a post-processing solution called Form Wash. It's for post-processing. Uh -huh. As you probably know, uh, in 3D printing, the dirty secret is post-processing and getting from a part that is printed yeah. to a part that you can actually use, that you can put into an assembly that you can give to your customers. So the post-processing solution is the form wash that automatically cleans your parts. Right. And maybe the most importantly, uh, the working title for this project was Automator. And <laughs> it's probably you can guess why it is, because we have an uh, industrial robotic gantry that moves the, uh, the build platforms from one stage to the other. It starts all the way on the right. You can see that that's our little part cart right. that is basically has all of the fresh build platforms and it has also all of the finished parts when, once it's done. So it starts from the, the right. Uh, we move the build platforms into one of the machines. Then the machine starts printing. After the machine stops printing, we move it into the post-processing solution. Right now, this only has a washing station. Right. In future ones, we will also have curing. curing, right. And, uh, and after that, we move it into the final part, part cart that then you can take out of the door and move it to the next part of, of, the, of the manufacturing process. Right, right. So when you get a form cell, are you, so it's coming with, what, we have five printers in here, five form twos? and then uh, multiple print platforms to swap out. Yep. And then this whole housing, and I noticed that we don't have the uh, hoods on the Form 2s because we have the outside windows here that are protecting from the UV. Right. And uh, so how much does a cell run? So uh, the way it works right now is that it's going to be made to order. Okay. And so uh, the different applications ranging from, uh, let's take a surgical guide applications. Dentists mm -hmm. use surgical guides to basically help guide their uh, surgical process when they make an implant. Those are really tiny parts. So the ratio of printers to post-processing units is different compared to when you make, for example, prosthetics, custom prosthetics right. are larger. There the print time is longer. So you actually don't need that many. The, the ratio between post-processing units to printers does not need to be that high. Okay. So uh, we're going to work with customers one-on-one. -on -one. We think that there's going to be a couple best sellers like this one, mm -hmm. the five to one ratio. Mm -hmm. uh, this is going to be uh, you know, something that will run on the order of 50 up to 100K depending on the, sure. the, the solution. But Maybe most importantly, this is really for production. So the question is, how, when does it make more sense to just have an automated unit versus a bunch of units separately running manually? And uh, for this uh, application, for the dental surgical guide application, we estimate that it's only three to four months before it pays the price back that you spent on automation. Right. So it really makes sense to use it. So we have a robot gantry that yep. is picking up the pl print platforms. Yep. and moving them in the place for each one. Mm -hmm. And then the software, I, I, I'm guessing, is keeping track of what every machine is loaded with, uh, so you can assign. And then uh, it's automatically unloading them and washing them and then putting them in the tray. Correct. <laughs> and and a lot of a lot of the work that we will be doing over the next couple of months and a couple of years is going to be uh, work around really the, uh, the the parts that are really will make it manufacturing ready. So serial number generation, uh, things that will help you track. If you have a huge batch of these, uh, imagine that entire part cart full with build platforms. Right. You want to go as fast as possible, identifying which is the part for which patient or for which assembly, and then moving it as quickly as possible over there. All right, David, can we fire this up? I want to see this in motion. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, so what I'll do is you can see the dashboard here. Uh, actually, we have a camera feed that we'll talk about it in a second. But what I'm going to do is look at what are the things that I'm, uh, I have printing. I have a bunch of things, but I know that I need this high temperature part pretty quickly. Okay. So I'm going to add it to my queue. 
and so you have different things in each each printer right now resins. we have set it up so every single one has a different resin for different application uh actually something fun is is about to happen there as well uh well, what you see oh there oh my god that is so much faster than i thought it's actually an industrial arm that can move up to two meters per second so <laughs> it's very very fast other thing that you're seeing there right now is uh -huh. actually while we are already filming is the washing unit is now open. Yeah. Uh, and uh, what we're going to be doing next uh, is actually start a washing uh, cycle. So Davi, this is a five pod unit. You got five different machines in here with five different resins. How, is that the limit? Can, can, can you go bigger? Imagination is the limit. <laughs> so uh, we can, the, the only thing that we need to scale here, obviously we make form twos at arbitrary quantities. If you want to order more, just contact us. Uh, the only thing that is limiting here is really the gantry system. Okay. Right now, this is a three meter gantry system that was made for this specific installation. It scales up to much bigger than that, um, up to 11 or 12 meters. So, uh, okay. We can also, uh, we have a little bit more control also in the Z direction. We can actually have multiple levels. So, so oh, different them. rows. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Because, I mean, we already have a gantry that can move up and down. Yeah. But uh, going back to my server example, uh, I think uh, making it modular and uh, is, it goes up, scales up a little bit, but mm -hmm. the really real power behind this is really to be able to replicate this, in, uh, this cell uh, multiple times. So right. uh, we can scale it up, we can have different ratios, we can make sure that uh, you have what you need from one cell, but if you want to scale this up, we want to work with you to like really build a multiple cell configuration uh, for an application. And when, uh, when will uh, you be offering the cells for, for actually ordering? So, uh, you know, we are doing a little bit of time travel here because uh, today is Sunday and tomorrow on Monday we're going to announce this to the world, which I'm really, really excited about. Uh, and after that, we want to hear from you. Please get in touch. Uh, we, we are, this, is, this is not a marketing demo. This is an actual thing that can already print and we are already printing sample parts and for customers, this is, this is real. So we want to work with you <clears throat> starting tomorrow. Uh, we want to ship units this year and okay. then go into even greater quantities next year. All right, David, thank you so much. Uh, it was a pleasure checking out the form cell. Uh, this is Sean from Tested, and stay tuned for more goodies from Form Labs as we take a look at the Fuse One and the Form Cure and Wash.